How did Murley deal um, with the, the accusations that were thrown at him? Was it the only thing that I'm interested to know from your lecture as an adjunct to it? The, the, the man must have been creased internally so often, and yet he kept coming back. How, how, at any stage, did you see him down enough to be concerned about him? No. I, I think at the initial stages, I wasn't a part of the team when he was first called. But Murray has told me that at that time, he felt as if his career was over. He felt that that was the last ball he'll ever bowl, and that he'll never be able to play cricket again. But the, the one thing he appreciated and what brought him back, he said, was the support he received from the team and Arjuna and, and the people. And for him, that was the one thing that gave him the courage to, be, to get tested, not just once, but over and over again. And once in Australia, there was this uh, 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 biomechanist who, who wrote an article saying, well, Murray Bose is douche at this speed. He must be chucking it. And the next day when we turned up for training, we couldn't find Murley. He turns up in the evening, and I asked him where he went. He said, oh, I just went to meet that guy, and I just offered him the, the opportunity to test me. And I was thinking, well, are you mad? But for Murley, that was also a motivating factor to prove everyone wrong, to show what he could do, mm -hmm. that he do, could do it well, and within the limits set.